Hello friends, neighbors, John your whiskey neighbor here, welcome down the nook and welcome to a tough one. This is a whiskey challenge, uh, Whiskey Wars, McIntyre Malts both challenged me quite a while ago to say, you know John, if you could only have one scotch from a region, what would you have? And it's thrown me into a tailspin. Sure, I haven't had time, but then when I have, I'm looking at my marks, I'm, I'm checking books, and I just couldn't do it. And just today, my wife said, stop thinking about it. Talk about what you have and why you like it. So fair enough. While the challenge is if you could only have one from each of the Scottish regions. There are five official, but I'm definitely gonna do the island, so we'll go six regions. I might talk a little more house. I might cheat whenever I can, but I appreciate the challenge, Wade and Ash. Thank you, gentlemen. You guys are great. Here are my thoughts. If I could have a scotch, what I'm thinking of, from any one of the regions, what am I grabbing for? Pour something, come on back. Three, four. Thanks for coming back. You know, I said pour something, so I guess I better do that too. I'm gonna do this, the Chegg 10. I wish I had a, a full bottle of it, but I'm out right now. And the Chegg is certainly in the running for um, the islands. Right, if we're looking at uh, Le Chegg or Aran or Mull or uh, Orkney, Highland Park, those are the islands and honestly should be a region. So I'll let this sit a little bit while I talk through the regions. If you're new to Scotch, great, glad you've come. Uh, I'll just walk you through really, really quickly. You know, uh, there are five official regions. I went right to the Scotch Society and uh, they are Speyside, which is a, a, a dense, Lots of distilleries, kind of a nut, all surrounded by the Highlands. Lots of good water there, explains that. Then Highlands, and this is where Highlands covers so much geography, including the islands. But I want to take the islands out of there and just say, you know, the Highlands is a uh, the Highlands of Scotland. Under that, of course, would be Lowlands. Uh, then after Lowlands, maybe we'll do Campbelltown. You know, now there's only a few distilleries there, but used to be the core mecca of scotch, absolutely. Uh, and then I've lost track of where I am, but hopefully we have yet to do Isla. So, uh, you know, we've got Speyside, Highland, Lowland, um, the uh, Isle, <laughs> Isle, yes, the Island of Isle and Campbelltown. So, for the first up, I'm gonna go Speyside and all over the map. There's so many great scotch there, but I had to think, what have I had a lot of that I really enjoyed? And actually I've enjoyed a lot of Tamdu. You know, Tamdu is uh, aged fully in sherry casks, or at least the ones that I'm drawn to, the batch releases. I don't know, it doesn't say uh, whether they're chill filtered, but it says natural color, aged only in sherry oak. And I certainly enjoy a dram of Tamdu, the 12, the 15, and these batch strengths are almost always on the shelf. That's a nice space side. Space side's often fruity, often sherried. Highland ended up being the toughest for me, like literally, like all over the map. Um, Highland, like, oh, this is a, I've got a few bottles. I don't even know, I didn't write down. I was thinking Glen Goyne, I really like Glen Goyne. I've had a number of bottles. I haven't had this legacy open, but, and then I thought, ah, you know, I also like kind of the meteor, should have had that out, the Mortlock back there. You know, Mortlock has just a unique flavor for a Highland, very, very cool. Honestly, a lot of the big houses, Orchard Fruities are Highlands, but then I had to say, you know, one of my absolute favorites, and it's another full Sherry Dram, is uh, the Edredour 12. You know, uh, it is dark and thick and just, just resinous. Love the, the thickness of this one. Have to say, certainly love uh, Edredour and Edredour 12. I hit a honey pot and put a few bottles away, so it's on the shelf and has been for a while. Now we could go to Lowland. Now Lowland, if I had a bottle, because it's the other thing, I don't like graphics if I don't have to do it. I'll tell you, I probably would have put Lock Lee. You know, I had a number of those bottles. Really, I went through, I think the whole range, uh, the casting and whatnot, it's young, but I'm really liking their core malt. But then last month, 
I've been sipping on this and it's totally unfair because it's kind of a unicorn, I think, but Daft Mill. I love this bottle and really want to find the 15 year old. So I'm going to say, hey, you know what, Lowland, I'm going to go with Daft Mill. It's a bit of a cheat since I have not had it long. Um, probably I would say Lock Lee. I've had a lot of Lock Lee and I'm really enjoying it. I didn't have a bottle or that would have been in, in the running. Campbelltown was tough. Seriously tough. I uh, I uh, had to sip. I got a little bit of the 16 left. I got a 12 Kilcarren. Sorry, those are Kilcarrens. I don't have the Gun Scotias right now, but I, I've got um, heavily peated. I had a lot of Kilcarren. Kilcarren 8, I got a little of that. So you'd think Kilcarren is probably where I'm going to go. Mm, distracted by this Lechek. It smells good here in the, nook, in the nook, but I actually took a sip through all of those that I just mentioned, and I still have a little bit of this Springbank 10, and I know it's hard to find. I know, I know, but it's great. It's really great. It, it sucks that it's hard to find. I think they've got to be making more, and maybe it'll come back, and people won't slurp it up, and I got this for a modest price. Uh, and it does show up every now and then, you know, nothing wrong with spring break, nothing wrong with any of those Kilcarens I mentioned. They're all fantastic. It's a bit of a wish list. And so I'm choosing spring bank. I just thought, you know, I had a lot of bruiser sherries up here and the Kilcarren I was drawn to was the eight year old, but it had just thick, thick, uh, um, it wasn't a sherry. Sorry. That one was a port and it just, I loved it. But then I realized I kind of like the funk that I get out of Campbelltown and I took a sip of this. I'm like, this is just right. Just nicely, just balanced. It's just a great dram. So we've done uh, Speyside and Highland and Lowland, which is just beautiful orchard fruits. Just so nice ex-bourbon there. A funky uh, Campbelltown. Uh, and then, oh, I don't know where to go next. Uh, islands, uh, islands. Oh yeah, well, this Lechegg here, you'd think, oh yeah. And, and I had this, this nine-year-old, but I haven't cracked it yet. Might be the best islands I've had in a while. Hmm, this is good. But I didn't choose that. And I'll tell you, this one's maybe a little less popular these days. A little big house. And I know us YouTubers, we tend towards smaller houses. Harder to find quality releases. But I had to reflect. Uh, if, if I had an Aaron bottle, it might be here. I've had a lot of Aaron. I've had a, like probably more Aaron from the islands than anything else, except what I'm going to put up here. Now, have I had this particular release? No, but it represents a house that I have a lot from islands, and that's Highland Park. I, I, right now, I feel like uh, it's lost its way a little bit. It has, you know, I don't know, it's gotten colored, it's gotten whatever, and it's just, I, I'm not even sold at all the Viking, although. They have legit Viking heritage there. I don't know why people get all bent out of shape. But uh, the cast strength releases, I haven't had the number three, but I have had uh, the other uh, couple, uh, one and two, really loved them. And I realized I love that soft heathered peat in with the good sherry. I appreciate Highland Park. So that's probably a curveball for those that have been guessing what John is probably going to take. So I've got uh, the core regions plus an island, so I need to go island. Ah, oh. ah, oh, people, another killer. I've got these beautiful uh, Lagavulins I've got there, that 12 year old anniversary from a while back. Man, I love that. Uh, I got those little Freud from James. They're all awesome, really nice. Love the medicinal and, and sweet lemon curd malt, but I have to pick another one, and I don't have the actual bottle, uh, but I would say it's our big Oogadale. And what I'm gonna show you is the Corvecchian. <laughs> That's not cool, but I'm out of Oogie right now, uh, which I have to fix. In fact, probably before I crack this uh, Corvecchian, I should I should get another Oogadale just because, you know, um, such good scotch. And, and I have, you know, I have the 10 on the shelf and I'm, like, I really like Ardbeg. Even the Wee Beastie is just fun. Uh, now, their, their uh, annual releases, their committee releases, have gotten silly in price. You know, this Corvecchian, I got Canadian, uh, like, it's unopened, and I bought it, I think, in summer for 110 uh, Canadian, and I'm like, you know what? I can live with that. Like, this is 
you know, it's it's high proof, a high percent, and I bet it's going to be lovely. I haven't had a Cory in a long time. But, so, for the uh, island, oh, and I, I've seen others like, um, not Rick Laddy, but uh, Blinahab and Cast Strength. If I could have, I just never had it. I almost picked the 12, but I don't have a bottle of it. So anyways, on the island, I'm happy to live with Ardbeg until I grow old. Uh, Highland Park, you know, they need some new releases, I uh, have to say, or revamp their core to be a little more character, but their cast strength is pretty good and I like them. Uh, Springbank, I just need to find them more often. Love the funk here. Daft Mill, I need to find more of this. I really need to find that 15 year old. I'm just in love with this right now. But if I couldn't find this, uh, I'd, I'd probably go to Loch Lee, knowing that they're aging and just getting better, and I like their core malt. Uh, Edward R., beautiful. This is probably the thickest, richest sherry I've really had the pleasure of enjoying in a dram. Love to have that every day. In a similar way, Tam Dew, but Tam Dew doesn't have the resin quality of this, but it's just a solid, good, light, fruity dram with lots of sherry backbone. So. That's my pick today. As I was saying to my wife, if I shot this a year from now, it would be different. It just would. Uh, why? Well, because my heart moves in different directions. Would I say I don't want a dram of these? Never. These are great, good scotches. What are your picks? What are your thoughts? What represents a region for you uh, differently than this? Do you like these up here? Are you going to hurt me for picking a big boy like this? I don't know. Anyways, Again, thank you for uh, Jeff Whiskey. Uh, these all slap, if I'm going to say that, for making this challenge go around the world. Thank you for Ash from uh, Whiskey Wars. I, I love the, the nature of your channel, the funness, and I have to say, Wade McIntyre Maltz, like, wow. Your production quality is something I aspire to. I love your thoughts, and I appreciate you challenging me. I think I'm so late to the game. I'm not going to challenge anyone else, but if you do have a channel and you haven't done this, I, I wish I could be challenging you. It's fun, but also a little bit challenging. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Hope you're having a great week.